Welcome to Salvation Army Today, your source for Salvation Army news from around the world. I'm your host, Roberta Simmons-Smith. Our first story comes to us from Hawaii. You might wonder, when I give to the Salvation Army, how are my donations being used? Well, this story is simply one of many shining examples. Thanks to Salvation Army supporters like you, a father, Jake, has been reunited with his four children. The kids, ranging in age from 11 to 16, were abandoned by their mother and left to live in a tent city in Hawaii. Local police eventually raided the camp and sent the children to a Salvation Army youth shelter, where caseworkers began sorting out their lives. The caseworkers contacted Jake, who had been desperately searching for his family. Recently, with the help of the Salvation Army, the kids landed in Minneapolis and walked straight into their father's arms. To help the families make a strong start, the Salvation Army provided winter clothing, school supplies, Christmas gifts, food, gas vouchers, and temporary housing. The family has now moved into a home of their own. Speaking of the chain of events, Jake said, I can't thank the Salvation Army enough for getting those kids back to me. I'm trying to give these kids some stability, give them a place to finish school, give them a life. Well, winter is officially upon us and temperatures are falling across much of the United States. In response, the Salvation Army has opened emergency shelters to serve homeless men, women, and children. For more, we turn to News 9 West in Midland, Texas. Well, this winter has definitely been a cold one. It snowed three times already, and this is definitely hurting local shelters who don't have enough space. Now, I talked to the Salvation Army shelter here in Midland, and they tell us they're extremely busy. Sometimes they're left with people sleeping on the floor, and some are even staying in the lobby if necessary. They say they try not to turn people away, but it's hard. They have to follow the fire guidelines, and they can only house a certain amount of people in the building. Now, the shelter has had to sleep people in their dining room floor on mattresses just to accommodate for this weather. Now the captain there tells me that they have inflated some already but not all of them and they are preparing to make sure that they have everything they need for tonight. They expect more people to come in. Now the Salvation Army also hands out blankets and they hand out meals so if you'd like to make any donations they will take anything they can get. For now live in Midland, Annie Yelly Ruiz, News West 9. The Salvation Army is committed to serving those in need as resources allow. To learn how you can assist in shelter operations or apply for assistance, please visit the Salvation Army's national website. In international news, the Salvation Army of Norway has launched a job training program for young Russians with disabilities. Russian law requires that companies with more than 100 employees hire at least 2% of their workforce from the disabled community. However, very few employers are in compliance with the law. As a result, the Salvation Army has made it its mission to help disabled persons stand out in a rigorous job market. Thus far, 70% of participants have seen success finding employment in both the public and private sectors. In addition to the financial benefits, participants are given a chance to take control of their lives, prove their value in the workplace, and experience enhanced self-esteem. Oregon, the Salvation Army has helped one woman overcome the chains of addiction and homelessness. For more, KGW News reports. If you met Billy Robinson on the streets of Portland, there's nothing I can't do. I know that because I am a survivor. You might not guess her story. I was given another chance at life when, you know, things were pretty hopeless. She looks like anybody else on the outside, but on the inside, she's never felt that way. Billy grew up in Billings, Montana. She described it as a rotten childhood and a life full of disappointments. She started using heroin at the age of 14. 30 years later, she had one divorce, two grown children, and a raging drug and alcohol addiction. She hopped a Greyhound bus to Portland as a sort of vacation. Soon she was hanging out on the waterfront and sleeping under the Morrison Bridge. When it got cold and wet, Billy made her way to the Salvation Army's female emergency shelter on Northwest 5th, just off Burnside in Portland's Old Town. In a world full of addiction and danger, it offered sanctuary. Like I said, I've been coming here for many years, and every time I've come here, you know, I've never been turned away. You know, I've never been judged on my lifestyle. Um, it's a safe place to come. I got tired of running. Um, you know, I didn't like who I was. 
I used my drugs to numb myself. Um, I was running out of places to run to. Billy says with the help of counselors and therapists, she stopped using heroin 14 months ago. She put down the alcohol and pills last August. She's no longer interested, she says, when old friends want to get high. It's a struggle, but she really is changing her life. I can look in the mirror and like who I am. Um, I have confidence. Uh, like I said, I know things will be different. In fact, they already are. Billy no longer sleeps under a bridge or in a shelter. Now she goes home to a small apartment in a downtown building. For Billy Robinson, the streets are now simply a place to walk and not to live. Finally, we turn to the southern United States. From February 13th through the 17th, the Salvation Army Southern Territory will host the Community Relations and Development Conference in Stone Mountain, Georgia. The event will share industry best practices and emerging trends with fundraisers, PR professionals, emergency disaster services personnel, officers, and core staff. Guest speakers will include internationally respected business and nonprofit leaders. Please visit the website for more information. The Southern Territory is also pleased to announce an exciting step into the field of mobile communications. The Daily Cup, a mobile app dedicated to the fight for social justice, is now available for download. The app shares information on homelessness, hunger, poverty, human trafficking, and other struggles facing our world, as well as the ways in which the Salvation Army and its many supporters are making concrete, tangible impacts in the lives of the affected. To join the fight for social justice, please download the Daily Cup. Be sure to tune in next Thursday for the latest Salvation Army news from around the world. For Salvation Army Today, I'm Roberta Simmons-Smith. Good day and God bless.